the Internet Key Exchange Peer ID, or IP ID. We have this concept of local private IP. What this is, is this is two things. Local private IP is the private IP used by NAT Traversal. So some boxes, an example is a WatchGuard uh, Firebox. The WatchGuard Firebox has to know the IP address of the device that it's connecting to, not only the public IP, but the private IP. So if you brought up a new VNS cubed, and so the, the watch guard has to be configured with this with our local private IP. If instead of our local private IP, you were configuring the watch guard with the actual private IP of the VNS cubed, the next time you brought up a VNS cubed for this topology, if you have to migrate or Amazon killed your instance or something, if you didn't bring it up on this exact address, the partner would have to edit their configuration, right? Which could be catastrophic. Um, so what the local private IP is, is it's a persistent private address that regardless of where, what, what VPC address you have, um, it's what the other side can be told to use for that setting on their side. So it's a way to give you better uh, configurability with, without any changes to the configuration in the event of a change. Where you see this on VNS cubed is you see the local private IP address. So that's what local private IP does in part. We also use the local private IP as the Ike peer ID. The customer will sometimes want to know what your remote peer ID is. From their point of view, you're remote. From your point of view, they're remote. Um, so you need to need to know from which point of view you're talking about. So on boxes, some boxes, uh, I think you'll see this in the Juniper document. You'll see on their web UI it says local peer ID, which from the customer side, the Juniper side is its side, and remote peer ID. That's you. So what'll happen is when somebody needs that local private IP for the configuration to work, they're going to put it in their device under the setting called remote peer ID. So the key, this, you know, most times this isn't explicitly needed, um, but I know, for example, WatchGuard Firebox it is, and we run into that occasionally. It is needed for VNS cubed to VNS cubed connections, actually. Um, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, 